If you're here, you're most likely an intercessor, a prayer warrior, a generational curse breaker. Prayer with God's word is war. Lord led me into a three day water fast. Any other time I've even thought about doing a water fast, the spirit of fear would try to come into my mind and say, you're gonna die, you can't do it. You fool girl, you gonna die. But I didn't die and the devil is a lie. I'm just thinking like, I'm just a night owl. And I fully embraced it not knowing that God wanted to use that time at night when I get creative for me to be praying, for me to be interceding. Like I came out of the fast more knowledgeable and more equipped than what I went into it with. On the right one. More you less of me. I don't even know why you keep blessing me. Hola mi familio, what's up fam? My name is Kayon Marie, for those of you guys who don't know, and for everyone else that's returning, well, you already know the vibes. My familia knows the vibes. If it's your first time though, welcome to my channel. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm so happy that the Lord led you to this video right here. I, I just pray it's edifying to you like it was edifying to me. Oh my gosh, it's been so long. You guys are probably looking at this video like, where have I been? <sighs> oh my God. I know you guys are wondering why I left for eight years. What am I doing right now? Like what's kind of like my income since I don't make videos no more? And we're gonna get all into that. <sighs> this feels so weird. I just kind of popped the camera up and I said, let me talk. Let me talk to the camera. And I'm here. <laughs> I was just messing around and I'm here. Let's briefly catch up. The last time you guys saw me, I was releasing my Christian clothing brand, More of Him, Less of Me. And I did that over fall of last year. And I also moved into my new apartment. So very, very busy times. Graduated college with my bachelor's in psychology and minor in digital media. And so your girl just had a really busy season of life. Got my first corporate job. Cha. It's been a lot, but I'm so happy to be back. So, let's get into this video. Obviously, by the title of the video, you know I'll be here. We came here to war. Because prayer is war, okay? If you're here, you're most likely an intercessor, a prayer warrior, a generational curse breaker, and your words probably hold weight in the spirit. And I know it's no coincidence that you are here. So the beginning of June, I was experiencing a lot of changes. I had a lot of questions. I wanted to really increase in spiritual knowledge or just get like a better understanding of what was going on around me. I noticed some patterns going on in my life. I was so busy getting caught up in the physical, me against another person. And really it's it's spiritual. Like we are more spirit than we are in, in, in the flesh. And I needed God's guidance. I needed his assistance. And really God was like, all right, Ask and you shall receive. Draw unto me and I'll draw unto you. Knock and the door will be open, honey. So, the Lord led me into a three day water fast. Any other time I've even thought about doing a water fast, the spirit of fear would try to come into my mind and say, You're gonna die, you can't do it. You need food, girl, you won't die. But I didn't die, and the devil is a lie, okay? I prayed for like spiritual revelation of things, like I said, that was going on in my life. A lot of times it's spiritual. So, I went to war. Prayer is literally how you fight your battles along with worship and praise and just like reverence of God. But prayer with God's word is war. Day one was pretty good. The night leading into day one, like midnight, I remember the Lord gave me the numbers 12, 3, 6, 9 and then it repeated. So it was like 12 a.m., 3 a.m., 6 a.m., 9 a.m., and it just repeated. And I was like, Lord, what do these, what does this mean? What do these numbers mean? And why is this what I'm seeing in my brain or in the spirit? And I got on YouTube, and I got on YouTube because during my fast, I already decided like, I'm not trying to be like chatty chatty with no one. Like I just really want to lock in with God. So yeah, I limited communications to everybody and I just locked in. And I got on YouTube to watch a sermon. And the sermon led me to this video of this girl 
mentioning watch hours and i'm like Is anything with time i'm already like on alert because i've already asked god like what do these numbers mean and in the video she talked about the eight prayer watches and the carnal man would be like, oh, this is just a coincidence. Not me, baby. I be listening and eyes be peeled to see what the Lord's going to Like, I'm always in expectance of, like, when God is speaking to me, whether it's, whether it's through birds, numbers, songs, license plates. Like, I'm always, like, expecting for God, a person. I'm always expecting for, like, how and when God is going to speak through something. I never limit the ways in which God speaks to me, even if it's through a secular song god has spoken to me via a secular song and reminded me like oh this is how jesus feels this is how the holy spirit feels like you know so i watched the video in that video during these eight prayer watches so in increments of three you should be praying for at least 15 minutes but also it's about strategy the watch hours helps you to pray effectively and in the process, God is also teaching you how to fight your opponent. And anybody who's ever been in a fight, anybody who has ever played sports, you know you can't just pull up on your opponent and just start swinging all directions. Are you gonna get popped? So I watched both videos and as well looked into a couple of books and also went to the Bible and typed in every scripture that mentioned watchmen. God is so good, glory to God. Basically, it is my responsibility now that I have this knowledge to spread that knowledge. This is the gift of the Lord to you through me. I'm just the vessel. Day two was challenging towards the nighttime. And day Another reason why I knew this was God like revealing that I was a watchman and how the Lord revealed to me that I was a watchman is because a couple of days later on YouTube, the algorithm put this lady on my page who was like, watchman, beware of what you say. Beware of like what's in your heart. Watchman, repent. And basically she spoke of how, because you were a watchman, if you've clicked on this video, the Lord is obviously you're, you're most likely a watchman. Go back to the Lord and he'll confirm it as he did with me. Because the Lord has called you to intercede on behalf of people, right? And because the Lord is teaching you how to war and the effect of prayers to pray, because he's teaching us that, our words carry weight in the spirit. So just as they carry weight, when we are interceding for ourselves, our, uh, our loved ones, our pastors, the city and the nation, is on the flip side just as heavy of a weight that our words carry when it's not used for god's good like when we're gossiping saying cuss words or when we have any envy jealousy in our heart or when we speak down on someone they hold weight so we have to be extra careful with our words because we're watchmen and our words carry weight also with that because we're the ones sending praises up a lot throughout the day we have to make sure that our heart is cleansed before the lord pure before the lord we have to constantly be saying god forgive me for the hidden sins the known sins cleanse anything in my heart that's not like you because if our prayers are going up and we're not and they don't smell like a good aroma to god but we're called to be an intercessor but we have envy jealousy strife unforgiveness in our heart then we're our, our prayers are muddy they're, they're, if we're living in sin, muddy. Our prayers reek. Our prayers gotta be undefiled, blameless. We gotta have a blameless heart. We have to constantly be praying that God purify our hearts, purify our motives, purify our minds, heal our minds, heal our hearts, heal our, heal our mind, body, soul, spirits, souls. So let that be another prayer of you guys. I know the Lord dealt with me, but yeah, that video popped up and, and the lady really dealt with that in me and I, it was just, I didn't even know that I, I was being, I thought envy or jealousy or, no, I thought envy, envy and jealousy was like, if you're like, uh, I don't like her because her, she got a nice car. Like, I never said that. But each time that I was saying, oh my gosh, I wish I had that car, that Porsche, mm, envy, desiring something that you don't have, desiring something of someone else's that you don't have, let it be far from you. This was just a huge breakthrough for me after my fast. Day three, I was like, whew, nauseous. Like, I need to eat. 
so i did eat um later that night after the day ended um around eight or nine maybe 10 p.m that day on the third day but glory to god god carried me through the three-day fast water only the three-day water fast glory to god i came out alive my biggest blessing from the fast was just like spiritual wisdom that was imparted into me spiritual knowledge that was imparted to me like i came out of the fast more knowledgeable and more equipped than what i went into it with and i i know i only experienced that because of the grace of god i believe the eight prayer watches was revealed to, to me and to you guys who have an interest to click this video um because god is calling you up to be a intercessor for the nation, the body of Christ, your city in which you dwell, your family, your future family, your future kids, your future husband, your future, your future. Um, and God wants to use you in mighty ways to to break some some strongholds, to to elevate His children, to release some things on the earth some divine things on earth and god wants to partner with you and i glory to god what god taught me is know your enemy just like as believers we are called to read our bible like please y'all i encourage you to read your bible at least once twice maybe three times in your life read it from read it from front to back and then i i, I trust that god will then show you how to study the word or, or give you a desire to study it i've been praying for the same thing give me the desire god to study and really go into depths about your word but we are not only called as believers to study our word but to also study your enemy ephesians 6 12 for we don't wrestle against flesh and blood but against high principalities that try to exalt itself against the word of god if you've ever played sports you know any sports coach will tell you they don't just go into the game singing like oh i already know my team cold yeah we got the plays, we got the juice. No, they're studying how their opponent plays so that they can defeat their opponent. I recently heard a comment that was like, oh, uh, I don't need to pray during those hours because I pray always anyways. Mm, you're gonna miss the whole point of this video if you think that because you're someone that prays all the time that you are being effective when you pray. The whole point of this video is to spread awareness and to inform you that during certain hours you are to be praying for certain and specific things when you go to a gun range when you hit a bullseye when you hit a target you don't just pray for everything i think that was one of my biggest takeaways so, remember the the story in the bible where jesus went up to pray and he came back and he found his watchmen his disciples sleeping they were supposed to be up watching and praying but they were sleeping let it be far from you body of christ that when jesus christ comes back that you are asleep i pray that this video blesses you i pray that you will awake out of your slumber take up your rightful territory rise up watchmen intercede and pray on behalf of yourself your family your pastors the cities and the nation be on alert for we do have an enemy we do have an accuser that comes to kill steal, and destroy but jesus came so that we may have life and have it abundantly how do we get that abundant life that jesus came for us to have we war we pray effectively we read our word we war with the word of god that was my testimony i just give so much glory and honor and praise to our abba father and it's also deeper than like just praying to war like just it's like bigger than you before i even went into this fast i was always someone who i get most creative towards the night time like that's when i get my best ideas and i used to think like oh i'm just a night owl like oh i love the bird owl my aunt who passed away loved the bird owl like i'm just thinking like i'm just a night owl and i fully embraced it not knowing that god wanted to use that time at night when i get creative for me to be praying for me to be interceding for myself and my family and my future family and my pastors like god wants to use you to pray for your pastors pastors around the world who are spreading the the gospel the true good shepherds god wants to use us it's so important that when god rises us when god elevates us in spiritual knowledge revelation understanding that we 
inform the body of Christ so that you guys can arise so that we can arise together just came out of the fast like feeling like so strong in the Lord like I came out the fast like yeah Satan under my feet cuz uh, I'm one of the women that's gonna bruise the head of the serpent I came out of there like yeah cuz greater is he who is in me than he who is in the world <laughs> and did I came out of there like less war and did I just came out of there feeling so much, so edified. Came out of my fast feeling so refreshed. Came out of my fast with like a clearer, like bullseye as to why God gave me this mouthpiece and it's to intercede, honey. Uh, Cause I love to talk, okay? Once I know you, especially child, but I love a good prayer too. So I came out of there like knowing like, okay, this is what I'm called to do, let's war. I'm God's warrior princess, warrioress princess. Let it be far from you to just shrug this video off. Let it be far from you to be rebellious or to be hard-headed or to be stubborn where no one can tell you or impart into you wisdom when you hear this video and you know you an intercessor. You can pray the town down. Don't try to do it your own way. Look into the watch hours if you don't believe what I'm saying. Do your own research. But the Lord led you here for a reason. Seek him out. Seek the hidden mysteries. And I pray you guys be blessed. I love you guys. Jesus obviously loves you guys more because that's why we're here. Mwah. Bye, guys. Change me on the inside. I choose.